Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to learn about the transmission power level. Uh, sometimes uh, we need to add uh, the transmission power level of our device in the advertisement packet. We can uh, program this as well. So the transmission power level can be added in the advertisement packet. The transmission power is measured in dBm and its range is minus 127 to positive 127. Here this is the range uh, that is uh, available. So we can uh, set uh, the transmission power level within these ranges. The transmission power level can be used to measure the link losses. Uh, we can also use uh, to calculate the distance between two devices, but uh, it's uh, not uh, very accurate as it fluctuates a lot. So in BLE 5.1, we have uh, this uh, new uh, way to uh, see these uh, link losses. So uh, in that we use multiple antennas then we uh, catch the angle of arrival or the angle of de departure where in the future if uh, I have time then I will uh, make uh, my own uh, device on this and I will design the PCB for that and then uh, I will make uh, some tutorials on that as well so here uh, we are just uh, transmitting the power level uh, but we are not setting it so actually uh, if we are setting the transmission power level to 4 dBm uh, but actually our device is set to 0 dBm this would not be matching uh, but uh, the thing is uh, here we are just setting it in our uh, advertisement packet so our ADV packet or advertisement packet uh, will show the 4 dBm but uh, actually it's a 0 dBm because uh, uh, we are not uh, setting the end, uh, transmission power uh, the actual transmission power level might uh, be different so uh, we have to check it and we will see that in the future tutorials for now just uh, the transmission power level how do we add it we will see in the programming so now let's go into the programming and see how we can add it okay guys now let's see how we can uh, program it so first let's open this uh, PC and uh, go into C directory and our FSDK and here in examples we have my projects folder I will open this one and I will just copy this one and uh, let's rename it as 7 and let's open this folder I'm using an RF52840 so I will open PC1005 6 go into the S140 uh, folder open SES and uh, here we have EM project file I will open this and let's zoom in a little and uh, here uh, we have the advertisement in it function so in the advertisement in it we will include the transmission power level so how do we include it first we need to uh, define and initialize a variable here of type int and uh, let's name it as TX power level and let's uh, set the TX power level to 0 dBm and that's it and uh, now we need to include it so in order to include it after uh, the name let's include it here so for that in it dot adv data dot p TX power level and this is uh, basically a pointer so we have to pass a pointer or the address of the variable and not the variable itself so here I'm passing it passing the variable's address by using and I will save it and uh, this will uh, this will add the TX power level in the advertisement packet now let's save it and let's build it okay now make sure the device uh, is connected so click on the target and click on connect and erase all and then download uh, the code into the device so once it's uh, downloaded now how do we see it uh, we will just use NRF connect app from the PC this time I'm using NRF connect we can also use it uh, on the phone as well so I'm just gonna use it on PC and I will connect my dongle so I have already connected my USB dongle so I will just click on this and uh, the dongle is connected now I will start the scanning so that I can see 
and here is the SAM BT which is my device and if I click here I can see the TX power level is also included in the advertisement packet and here it's showing the TX power level is zero uh, so zero dBm so that's how we include the TX power level hope so you have learned something new today please uh, be sure to support me on my PayPal and Patreon and if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments below also you can contact me through my email I see my emails uh, on the weekends Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.